What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 13 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. This question is only asking us to find the value of the positive zero of the function f defined by f of x equals x squared minus 121. The particular skill that this is testing is called difference of squares. The idea of difference of squares is that if I see that I have one square minus another square, the way that I will factor that into x plus or minus something times x plus or minus something is actually relatively straightforward as long as I can recognize this expression as a difference of squares. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the square root of the left side. So the square root of x squared is just x. And now I take the square root of the right side. The square root of 121 is 11. And 11 is going to go on the right side of each of these parentheses. But in the middle, I'll have plus in one set and minus in another set. And if, just for the sake of demonstrating this, if I were to go ahead and reverse this process by foiling my first numbers, x times x, would give me x squared. My outside numbers, x times minus 11, would give me negative 11x. I for inside, plus 11 times x, would give me positive 11x. And then finally, for last, that's plus 11 and minus 11. 11 times negative 11 equals negative 121. Now whenever I see all of this, sorry that that was off screen for a little bit, the only thing I have left to do is combine these two as like terms, but they actually cancel each other out, leaving me with x squared minus 121. So that's how we know that this works, but now let's move on to actually using these to find zeros. Now if you have seen a couple of the other videos where I go over this idea, I want to take this set of parentheses and say that it equals zero and figure out what x is going to be. Do the same thing for this set of parentheses. So what number plus 11 equals zero? Negative 11. What number minus 11 equals zero? Positive 11. So we have a zero, we have a zero. The question was asking for the positive zero, so that's going to be 11. Positive 11. And now, of course, this is a gridded response question, so I am going to show us how we can do that. There's that. Since my answer is positive 11, I'm going to take my number 11 and split the digits up, give each digit one box. Underneath the tens place, find the one and bubble it. Underneath the ones place, do the exact same thing. 